I have something to tell you guys. As of January 1st, 2016, about five weeks from the time you're seeing this video, we're going to be opening Outfit Athletics Warehouse Gym. Now, it's going to be a public gym. We're going to have memberships. We're going to have day passes so that you guys can come. Come visit. There's so many, so, I cannot express, there's so many emails. People want to come get a workout. They can come say hi. That's going to be possible as of 2016. And so right now, we're just moving. All right, so if you look behind me, we have this gym. We're actually renting out another warehouse, and so we're moving Alpha Athletics clothing, all of our inventory, our pants, our t-shirts, all the stuff coming soon next door to a smaller warehouse, a 5,000 square foot warehouse, and this is gonna be our actual gym, 10,000 square feet. We already have a bunch of equipment. A lot more is ordered and on its way coming in later this week and next week. We have turf coming in, we've got Dino balls, we've got a whole nother dumbbell set coming in. You know, let's actually make our way over uh, to show you what what warehouse actually the clothing is gonna be based out of. So um, yeah guys, lots lots and lots and lots has been going on. I'm really excited for this and to be honest, as you guys know if you've been following me for a long time, I tried a membership gym in the past. It left a bad taste in my mouth. It, it didn't work out how I wanted it to and now the difference is it's not just me. I've got a whole team behind me. I've got people that care um, and we're gonna make it work this time. Mark my words. As you can see, we've already moved a bunch of pallets in here, inventory. We're moving all this equipment, which is Jeff. Say hi, Jeff. What's up, guys? From XFT. He's moving all this stuff over there. It's gonna be an insane gym, guys, with everything you could freaking dream of. But my point is, I'm gonna be documenting everything this entire uh, next four to five weeks leading up to the grand opening of this gym, and it's gonna be insane. <laughs> All right, guys, it's now 6.30. Uh, about to lift really quickly, but we finished moving everything. So finished all the flooring, the matting, the, the BOSU balls. The, what are these called? That's not BOSU ball. That's a uh, ball. The, the ball with the air. Fitness ball. Uh, dumbbell racks. We got the squat racks over here. Super nice. Legend. Uh, bro, that's high, man. Woo! Oh, anyway, they're super nice. So moved all that today. Uh, come in here. Turn the light on. We got Travis Robertson, a friend of mine, sent me some stuff in, from uh, from Canada, including some fake snow, which I've never heard of before. But the crew thought it'd be funny to throw it all over my desk. <laughs> so. Uh, Thick snow all over my desk, and I've got a letter that says Merry Christmas. But uh, about to lift, hit some legs, so I'm gonna put my knee sleeves on. I just got some scent from Silent Mike, super training, and they're really good. I like them a lot, so I'm gonna wear those. These were all gifts. It's cold. honestly, it's pretty cold outside today, man. It's like 55 Fahrenheit. Alright. I'm taking one scoop of my occasional pre workout today. It's a joke on my channel. It's good, right? Good color. Hunter Green. Alright, so you to family back the leg workout. 305 pounds for a set of eight, followed by 325 pounds for a set of eight. And then I'm going to show you some of my accessory movements. But I am so extremely excited to bring you all this video. I'm excited to make the announcement of the public gym. And most importantly, you know, once the announcement is made, you are committed, fully committed. So no matter what, January 1st, we are opening and it's, you know, we only have five weeks, excuse me, we only have five weeks. We have a time crunch and we're going to make this work. We're going to make it successful. And I'm excited to invite you all to follow me on this journey. And, um, as you guys know, about two years ago, I 
attempted my first public gym and it failed. Uh, I tried to take everything on my, my own. I didn't hire any employees. I didn't hire any help. It was just me. It was a 900 square foot warehouse. Here we have a 10,000 square foot warehouse because of how much the online business and Alpha Athletics has grown. And I'm excited to re-embark on this journey and make it a success. I'm so determined to make it a success. So uh, the next two days of vlog footage are going to be here in the video and then coming up and then all the workout footage from the next two days will be at the end. So I will see y'all then with the commentary. Day two, I decided that we're gonna do a countdown leading up to the grand opening. It's not a countdown, it's like a count up. Count up. Uh, Nikki made a social media post this morning officially announcing January 1st as the opening date. So what's today, November 24th? Third? The phone's right behind you if you wanna click it. So 31 plus six, 37 days. 37 days out. <laughs> 37, I don't know if you guys hear that. 37 days out from the grand opening. So we're moving all of the shelves to the other warehouse um, on the little dolly and, and carts and stuff. And it's honestly not taking long at all because we just lift it up. We don't, we don't have to take like the shirts off of the actual shelves. So. What's next? What do we have to do? What, what, what else? Um, make a map of how we want the gym Make a map because equipment comes in tomorrow, Thursday and Thursday, and we move everything officially on Monday. So we have to have permanent spots on Monday. Mm -hmm. And also we've been discussing with the whole team about pricing uh, a membership cap because we're not gonna have unlimited memberships. We are gonna cap off memberships at a certain number. Um, we wanna keep it exclusive here and affordable, but also exclusive. So it's sort of, mm -hmm. it's, yeah, it's good. We don't want, we're not going for like 800 members, like hell, we don't want 800 people here or 500 or like 400. Yeah, we want to keep it real exclusive. I know for a really long time, people have been, you know, asking tons of questions. If you were to ever make the gym public, what persuaded you to do it this time? Honestly, it's like, in order to, like, guess so many people want to come by and, like, they literally they'll email and ask and say, hey, can we come by? Can we check it out? We, like, you guys are inspirations. And we just wanted to just open this up to you all. And, uh, you know, we're going to be training here. We're going to be here working out. And it's it'll give you guys an opportunity to come check it out. Uh, enjoy it if you're local if you're here in the Stafford Missouri City Sugarland area sign up here you can this can be your gym and uh, it's creating that family feel I think yeah better environment for us too yeah I feel like yeah better environment more motivating and honestly that's what Alpha is all about mm -hmm. so sometimes it's like quiet and you just don't even want to work out You're yeah. like, oh, this is boring but I think it'll be cool eventually. and it's honestly gonna be like we have so much equipment coming and from what we already have it's gonna literally be just a badass facility so it's gonna be epic. Today is day three of building the Alpha Athletics Warehouse Gym. Tim and I are in a U-Haul. Big U-Haul. Huge U-Haul because we're <laughs> headed to get some uh, more gym flooring. So for the flooring, what I've used since the very first gym I made is Tractor Supply. They're four by six, three quarter inch mats. They're incredible, they're really thick, they're strong, they're durable, and uh, they don't rip, they're just perfect. So that's what we use. We already called this morning, and they have 180 of them, which is like more than they've ever had any time we go. So we're gonna buy 110 more. Right now at the gym, we have 102. So we're over doubling the size of the matted square footage. All right guys, we're here outside of Tractor Supply. We're in the back. Uh, these are our mats. We've got 110 of them. Let's show them real quick. We've got the forklift about to load them into the U-Haul. Uh, we used a truck one time and a truck can barely hold like one of these pallets without sinking in. So the U-Haul can hold a lot more. We'll probably possibly have to make two trips uh, depending on how heavy all this stuff is. But each mat costs, I'm gonna get out of the way. Each mat is $39.99, so 40 bucks. And uh, we got a 5% discount ordering in bulk. So that came out to $4,500 total with taxes and everything and I say that not to like brag by any any means but to I know a lot of you guys have a passion for fitness a passion for training you might have dreams of opening a private gym or a public gym or doing something with that with fitness and uh, I just want to be able to give you guys accurate expectations I feel like that's very important um, so yeah flooring mirrors very expensive very costly equipment it's a, it's a costly thing guys uh, but it's all gonna be worth it in the end. So we're gonna load these up, head back. Uh, I've got a meeting in like 15 minutes. So yeah, here we go. 
one, two, three pallets. This is 75 mats. We're going to come back uh, for the remainder. I'm about to show you that. This is good, good, man. This is good stuff. Good, good. Oh, my man. Bruh. Bruh. I'm sure, I'm sure they'll be good, man. Good, good. Good, good. This is good stuff. That's Michael Jackson. Special seasoning. Got a meat lovers, normal crust. Got a meat lovers thin crust. You got two thin crust pepperoni pineapples. So we're about to feast. Oh, but Christian, you're eating so bad. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving. It's Thanksgiving week. I'm in a surplus. Come at me. <laughs> Giving you some brownie points right now. Christian, pick this one out for you. Just for me. Yeah. This will benefit everyone. Can you me bending over and yeah. Picked up it's a boot machine. Stack on it, so. it's like it's on the highest. You can thing. only do the full stack. <laughs> all equipment's coming in right now, all the new stuff. I'm about to walk you guys through. Uh, one of the machines we got was a glute machine for the glute queen. Yeah. That was so painful. I can't imagine That's a good machine. doing two legs at the same time. Do both. Can you do both legs? Do both. I don't think you're supposed to do both. Try both. both legs at the same time. I don't think it's possible. Okay, wait, wait. She's about to do it. Because then you're not hitting your glutes. No, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's only one. Not even for it. Bro. Oh. <laughs> Awkward. Amplify the workout. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Well, this is cool. I like it. I've never seen one like this. Piece number one, we got a treadmill. We already have one treadmill, so we're adding a second one. So cardio, we're gonna have two treadmills, two stairmasters, one elliptical. That's gonna hold us off for now, and we're gonna kind of see the traffic, see what's going on to decide if we need any more. Uh, this machine is an eye carrying single legged hamstring. I love this. Machine. It's a really good one. Right here, we got the handles. We got one leg. Right there. Get those hammies. We've got that glute master that you saw Nikki using. Uh, we've got a, another hammer string. Low row, so you load your plates up. Come right here. Love this. We've got a two preacher curls. I think he threw a free one in. They're a freaking customer right here. Preacher curl, a standing preacher. You've got a tricep dip over here. Right here, you've got a few more pieces. Let's walk out here. The last few pieces that we got are a assisted pull-up machine right here and a table. Here's our assisted pull-up. Lastly, we've got a Cybex functional cable machine which is really really great very uh universal so that's everything we picked up uh come over here i'll break down pricing so uh for this equipment i think it's like eight pieces total possibly nine paying right at six thousand dollars everything is very it's it's used good shape used um this stuff lasts a lifetime so six thousand dollars this equipment um we spent 4500 this morning on mats, so again, I'm not trying to like boast or like anything like that, guys. I'm trying to be transparent and let you guys know what really goes into it. Uh, a gym is a hard business. It's a very hard business. There's a lot, a lot, a lot of overhead. So uh, going into it, every, luckily everything's already paid for. Um, all the equipment I've already had is paid for. This is all paid for. And uh, just be sure that you know what you're getting into before you get into it. So I'm really excited. Uh, we're going to lay down some mats, put this equipment, sort of plan out the layout, and I'll check in with you guys in a minute. First and foremost, this is Nikki's playlist, not mine. Second off, I'm going to get on top of this Stairmaster and show you guys what the gym looks like as of 5 o'clock. Check it out. Alright, aerial view. All the equipment's going to get rearranged. Got... Equipment. Got... All this flooring we did today, right there, all the new equipment that came in. That entire sector will be turf, uh, probably by Friday, Saturday. 
about to get a lift in. So excited, guys. Like, so freaking excited. Um, you know, it's so cool that now we're going to have a completely separate warehouse for Alpha Athletics, um, our clothing line. And then we're taking this and we're going to build something great, build a family feel. And at the end of the day, like, that means so much. And I know, like, that's what has put this channel where it's at and i feel like it's almost a way for me to give back you know guys i'm gonna be straight up with you I, I know i've talked about numbers a little bit in this video and stuff and here's the thing like this gym is not going to profit crazy amounts of money it's not like this is not like a especially we're capping memberships off like we're not going to be like these 24-hour fitness commercial gyms we're trying to get 10,000 members and only have like 500 people come in like everyone that comes in that's, that's paying membership is going to get their money's worth we want them to show up and I think that's different. It's a different business model, but at the same time, like, we're not, I'm not doing this to get rich off of building a public gym. Like, I want to do it to give back and to be able to meet you guys and have you come here, check it out, and enjoy the time here. So, um, it's going to be good. All right, guys. So, so much I want to talk to you about here. Uh, I guess the first thing is to fill you in on, you know, what our exact plans are as far as the public gym opening up January 1st. So, so far you guys have seen the actual warehouse. You've seen the layout sort of concepts and ideas. We have the turf, we've got the new squat racks. We've got more than double the matting, tons of equipment. But as far as the offices go, we are actually going to put an Alphalete retail store inside of one of our uh, offices, an entire retail store with all of our products actually slightly discounted than the online prices. So we can have people come in and actually purchase Alphalete here or the members can purchase it, access new items. Um, we're also going to, we're going to have a front desk sort of like a lounge in the front we're going to have two trainers that are already set and confirmed here at the warehouse working here full time um, with their own clients and everything like that and then we're going to obviously have the public gym open monday through sunday every single day we're open uh, we're still deciding on the hours i'm thinking monday monday through friday about 6 a.m to 11 p.m and then weekends i'm thinking like either 8 a.m to 8 p.m or 9 to 9 uh something like that so that's in the works. Uh, what else is there? What else is there? Um, I guess I can sort of touch on the last clip that I talked about before the workout footage started. You know, guys, there's a lot of money. And like I said earlier in the video, I'm not trying to brag or boast about how much this is costing me or anything like that. I want to be transparent with you all. I know that a lot of you have dreams, aspirations of actually, you know, either you want to be a personal trainer or you want to eventually get your own small spot, your own personal training business. You want to build a public gym. So many of you you know, like-minded individuals love fitness and want to do something with fitness with their life. And I figure what's the point of just like showing you the finished product and then just saying, Hey, uh, this works as opposed to actually showing you, you know, this is what this cost me. This is what this is costing. Um, you know, a public, it, all the equipment guys, it's very expensive. Um, a gym business is a very financially difficult business. To be honest, you have to pay for your floor. You have to pay for the equipment. You have to pay for the mirrors. Um, you have to pay employees to be there. And my that brings me to my goal. My goal with this is to is not to make a ton of money. It's not a get rich scheme to make a, you know, multi multi million dollar public gym business. My goal is to provide something for our supporters to provide a place where they can come. Um, you know, you see me training here in every single YouTube video for you guys to come here, visit. Um, I'm obviously I'm working out of a separate office, but I'm going to be coming and training here. Nikki will be the entire athlete team will be training here and uh, be in this atmosphere, be around people. You know, we want members that have goals that want more out of life that are working towards improvement. And that's what we want in this gym. We don't want to let just anyone here for you know 19 bucks and just get a thousand memberships and you know profit some money. We want to have good people here. We want to cap our memberships off so our members feel exclusive. And it's such a it's sort of a unique business model because you know obviously we want to break even. Uh, we're accounting on the retail store to make us you know some decent money and break even, make some money. Uh, obviously pay the employees and everything like that. But really it's going to be a space for something far larger than the money. So um, we sort of we've referred to it as we want to make this sort of like the you know like the new mecca, I guess you would say the new mecca of the new generation of fitness. We want to bring everything. So I'm so excited talking about it. There's so much uh, that's going to happen here. There's so many meetups that are going to happen here. We're going to bring you all here. We're going to open this up. Uh, we're going to have big names come by here and uh, we're going to do some really, really big things. So super excited. And like I said, 
we've got five weeks to do it all. So all this planning, we're deciding on membership pricing right now. Currently, we're looking at capping off at about 250 memberships, um, you know, total memberships, which would mean on a normal day, we'd probably have about at the busiest hour, I would say 30 to 40, maybe 50 people on the floor at one time, meaning, you know, using the gym at one time. And so that's sort of where we're at. We're thinking pricing. We're going to do about $39.99 a month or $49.99 a month. And it's difficult because, you know, locally around this area, we have, you know, 24 hour fitness, you have LA fitness, very commercial gyms charging 30 to $50 that have, you know, pools and saunas, steam rooms, locker rooms, that whole deal. And here you're paying more for the environment. And so it is difficult to sort of justify a high pricing in my opinion, but that's what I'm thinking about $39 or $49, um, making it exclusive, capping off memberships, and really having the people that want to be here, be here. So that's the goal. Um, sorry if I'm sort of rambling, but that's what I'm thinking, guys. And there's tons of footage coming soon, tons of videos coming soon. And our next launch is going to be December 13th, 2015. It'll be our last launch of the year. And then we've got the LA Fit Expo. And then pretty soon, Summer Shredding will be starting back up after all that. So tons to look forward to. I will see you on the next video. Have a good one. Love y'all. Peace out.